the allergic and autoimmune theory of schizophrenia. Dendritis. When I was at medical school I was taught that nerve cells or neurons have several fibers receiving information from other neurons. These fibers are called dendrites. They are so called because they appear tree-shaped on microscopy. Dendron means tree in ancient Greek. The dendrites were usually drawn as smooth etched in diagrams. There was no mention that the dendrites had protuberances upon them called dendritic spines which are shown in greater detail on a photograph on the right. The dendritic spines have synapses or connections with other neurons on their surface. Synapse means connection in ancient Greek. Dendritic spines were first described by Kegel and Golgi who received the Nobel Prize in 1901 for their work. This photograph shows hundreds of synapses in yellow on the dendritic spines of a neuron. This is a close-up view of large dendritic spines in red with associated synapses in green and white protruding from the shafts of renal dendrite and blue. The electrical activity of dendrites with more spines is greater than dendrites with fewer spines. This is another photograph of NREN with the dendrites and dendritic spines. What do you think it resembles? The dendritic spines resemble the leaves on a tree. The dendritic spines are plastic and can become more dense or less dense in a matter of hours. This photograph shows how stress reduces dendritic spine numbers. The reduction of dendritic spine numbers may be compared to the reduction of leaves on a tree from summer to winter. Fewer spines or leaves are associated with bad feelings. Fear, for example, anxiety, self-pity, for example, depression, resentment, for example, hatred and dishonesty, for example, criminality. More spines or leaves are associated with gratitude, acceptance, trust and honesty. Obsessive compulsive behavior is an attempt by the brain to grow more spines or leaves but usually results in fewer spines or leaves and increased bad feelings. The spines or leaves are reduced in most psychiatric diseases. These include schizophrenia, alcohol and drug dependency, anxiety, depression, autism, Alzheimer's disease and head injury. The spines or leaves are reduced in alcohol and drug dependency. The spines or leaves are reduced in size and density in schizophrenia. Why are the spines or leaves usually reduced in number and size in psychiatric disease? The answer is dendritis. Dendritis is due to abnormal tread white cell activity causing an abnormal immunogenic response to an immunogen or autoimmunogen in a genetically predisposed individual resulting in reduced dendritic spine size and density and the clinical features of psychiatric disease. What makes spines or leaves regrow? People, partner, family, friends, health professionals, self-help groups, places, pleasant surroundings, things, car, holiday, diet, high omega-3, low omega-6 essential fatty acids, physical and mental exercise, medicine, for example, Prozac can cause spine or leaf-free growth and depression. Nicotine, alcohol, cocaine, opioids and amphetamine can cause spine regrowth but excessive use may cause spinal leaf loss. More recently antibiotics and anti-tumor necrosis factor treatment have been used with some success in fragile X syndrome, schizophrenia and Alzheimer's disease. Stem cells have anti-inflammatory effects and are already being used in some countries in the treatment of psychiatric disease. Gene therapy is also being developed. Music therapy, pet therapy, massage therapy, aromatherapy, computer or robot therapy, 